Greetings, this is Eduardo Jumbo. In this part 3 tutorial, strings will be manipulated using Python. This is from chapter 2 of the ojumboshop.com learning Python course. Strings can be surrounded by single or double quotes. String quotes are literal. Double quotes allow escape characters. Python can be installed from source at GitHub. Python can be installed from download binaries. I installed version 3.12.4 from the Fedora 40 repos. Let's begin. Okay, first we'll create a string variable. I'm leaving a space there. You will understand why later when we use other Python methods. I'm also putting a comma there. Okay, I left a space here and I left a space there as well. Okay, so first I'll make a tuple. Then I will use the join. Okay, now compile this and then run it and you see it says join and Jane from just this tuple here so we use the join uh, and to join these two together so I'm going to comment this out oops okay next we will use the print Just justified with the optional adding space. Again, we'll compile this, run this, and it padded it at 20, so it used this uh, STR. Next, we're going to all all characters will be made lowercase. So I will comment this part out. Oops. So you see this part 3 is all about manipulating strings with a space. The result was all lowercase. Okay, here I'm going to make a table. And what I I'm generating a mapping uh, table, so I'm going to replace the lowercase t with an uppercase t. You notice this is low. Uh, this is actually lowercase here. So 
So then I'll use the translate method table one. So this is a translate string. And as you can see here, each of the lowercase t's were made into uppercase, as you can see right here. You can comment the second. Next, we use the partition. So this search for the first specified word and return people in three elements. And you see here, <clears throat> first tuple, this is a tutorial, comma, part three, comma, about. Next, we are going to use the remove prefix. This will return string. If the string, uh, otherwise it will return the original. As you can see here, uh, this tutorial part of manipulating with a space. Now, the reason it, it just did this one is because It doesn't start with this. However, if I put a space, because remember we started with a space, and now I try again. Oops. Now you can see that it removed the prefix. The prefix is space this. Okay, and then we can simply duplicate this. And we're going to use a suffix this time. And remember it has a space as well. So I'll leave this, <coughs> uh, Oops. I'll remove that. As you can see, it removed the ending part because we had a space there as well. Next, we're going to do a replace. Replace this with this. Maybe we'll start with the
What did I do wrong here? Oh, I must put a comma. And you see, the first this is replaced with uh, the one with capital, capitalized. In this, we're going to use our find. Our find is it finds find first oh sorry our find it's the last occurrence of string this And you see, it found it at position 1, because remember, zero, position 0 will be the space, and position 1. Next, we're going to do our index. And one, it's literally the same thing as before. So this is going to be our partition. So our partition, we're looking for the world about. So we're going to search for the last specified word and return the three elements the tuple you see we're looking for the word about and that's the three tuples right there one two three now we're going to do print one dot r split uh, the comma so the split is the R split what we're doing is we are using a delimiter which is going to, in my case going to be a comma and a space you can also do a max how many splits you want to do but that's an optional feature and you can see here it says it's uh, see this is the comma here in this tutorial comma so you see that split it there uh, there's only one comma I have so we have two there there's also 
just a regular split what's the difference between the L strip uh, oops uh, yeah just split This one will return and list rewards and list. It's actually exactly the same. It's exactly the same. this will do is it will split true keeping line breaks. I don't have any line breaks in mine. You can also put false. So this should all be incorrect because it's false. However, if I put a space there, because remember we were starting with the, uh, we start with this space. Now you see it's still false. Why is it still false? Oh, it's false because uh, my thing should be from zero to. One, two, three, four. So I should put zero here. You see now it's true. Then print. So these are the characters we want to remove. Reading and trading characters. And you see, you might say, hey, you didn't remove that. That's because remember, we started with a space. So if I go here and do that, try it. You see it removed the uh, beginning space and the ending space as well. Okay, print dot swap case. Very simple toggle case letter. So, what this means is it will convert uppercase to lowercase and lowercase to uppercase. 
as you can see here because I, I did it all in lowercase and converted it to up, uppercase remember the part 3 here was in uppercase converted to lowercase the word python starts with a capital P now it's lowercase first letter in each word uppercase and you can see, remember I started with a lowercase t for this so this tutorial part you can see what happens there with the title So what does upper do? Upper simply uppercase. It's nice and simple. You see, everything is converted to uppercase. So this is going to be the fill. As you can see here, it added the zeros. Now this is 100 characters. Or oh, whatever you specify there. So you obviously you can find the full tutorial at ojambo.com manipulate hyphen strings hyphen part hyphen three hyphen using hyphen python. As you can see, I have all the uh, details here and a code snippet. You can click expand source. It's all here. You can simply copy and paste screenshots for using Guinea IDE. And this is the video you can uh, watch here. It is also on multiple social media like Facebook, YouTube, Odyssey, Twitter, X. Uh, TikTok and many more and of course you can remember this is from chapter 2 of the learning Python course and this is part 1 of the article and part 2 of the article if you want to go look at it and this is the Python uh, website license and the if you want to more learn more about strings I've already gone through everything so learning Python course you can get it for 20% off until the end of 2024 use the promo code SCHOOL S -C -H -O -O -L. so what happens is once you uh, log into your account you will see paid content here or paid content here or even here just click it and you pick which course and here the strings this is all part of chapter 2 as you can see here strings is the last part of chapter 2 and we've just completed this uh, chapter 2 see everything is over here you can always type something like hello world and then just print it See hello world, you can clear it and go again. Thank you. There's also Ojambo services if you need help creating a website. So a website can be created in WordPress, Shopify, or any platform. And if you need uh, an application for your desktop, mobile, or web, or the major platforms are also supported and if you need tutorials custom tutorials one-on-one -on -one, online uh, they're custom made for you 
you, whether you want to learn how to use software, whether it's something like Blender 3D or, or uh, Office Suite, or you just want to learn something like a database or programming, any language, PHP, Rust, Java, JavaScript, HTML5, anything, uh, just uh, give us a call. Uh, so this is the 800 number for North America, US, Canada. If you want to do the direct dial, the number is here as well, or you can simply go to the contact page, fill in your information here with your budget constraints, and we'll get back to you very soon. Thank you.